fully wire mod here. This is video 12a in the Expression 2 series where I'll be going over an introduction of tables. So let's start by getting rid of everything but persist. And we're going to need some tables. Oh boy, all the tables. Okay, and of type table. And spring type spring. Oh, no, not up, okay, spring. All right. So a table is just like an array. In fact, it's almost exactly like an array, except for the aspect that it can hold other tables and arrays inside of it, whereas an array can't. So we'll say table is equal to table 2 plus value of 10. Table 2 is equal to table. Table 3 plus some vector 1, 2, 3. And table 3 is going to be equal to a table of a string, which will say hello. Um, we'll say an array, which will be 5, 6, and we'll say some entity. So let's say the expression 2 chip itself. And just to show you there's no trickery here, there's no error, all's good. We can actually print that table, that table 3. Well, let's actually do table first, just to see what it does. Uh, it's not actually going to print tables themselves, it'll print arrays entities and every other data type, but a table it's not going to actually print. So as we see, um, there's nothing right here, but there's a value of 10 from table 1, which you can see up here. Now if we do that with table 2, it will show us a vector, which is shown in this format, and table 3, which is in slot 1, which it's not going to print. And then if we finally print table 3, now we have our string array and entity. Alright, fascinating, right. So we can actually get the count or how many elements are in the string. So we'll say count, then we'll put table 3 count. And that's going to give us a count of three elements, which is good. And we can also get the identifier of this table, which is awesome when you need to uh, select this table for something. So let's say we'll put table 3 ID and that will give us the identification of this table which is going to be very similar to the inverted form of this array which is actually going to be given in an ID. So let's do that. We'll invert table 3 and what it's going to do is it's going to take the string and then it's going to skip over this array, put it to the front and it's going to see the string in the second position it's going to be like, like this kind of and then it's going to flip these two around or invert them around so it's going to put the entity first and the string second so let's see that in action and here we have it the string is last the entity is second and the table got pushed up all the way to the top because it's a table or an array and notice that the array was transformed to a table and given an identifier which is similar to this one so we can go and grab those array values if we need them. Alright, so we can also clone tables, which is pretty fun. So we can say table 4 is equal to table 3's clone. Let me show you there's no trickery here. We'll change all these values to table 4, table 4, and table 4. And let's keep this normal for now. So. Alright. Alright, so everything's the same, just like table uh, 3. Uh, and also, we can clear the table if we really want to, so where no table gets printed. So, see, so you've got nothing, but we have count identifier, count 0, because there's nothing on the table. Or we can even assign an element from table 4, like that string. Uh, we'll take hello and we'll remove it then we'll grab the data type string and assign it to string or str. So you see now there's two elements and let's actually print that string real quick. So we'll put print string. Alright. Hello. Awesome. Now if you just want to completely remove it then, well you put that index of one but you just remove string and then you do this and don't assign it to anything and we will not print that. All right, so there we go, and it's removed. Perfect. Now you can also use 
push, pop, insert, remove, um, and shift function, and all that. Uh, that's in video 6B where I cover that. It's very similar to arrays. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. You can also add tables together and merge them and whatnot and show difference. Um, but uh, we're not going to get too much into that. But anyway, if you want to actually grab that value really quick from a string um, and you don't want to remove it, well, very similar to an array, you go here and 1 to uh, represent the index, then the uh, data type that you want to output right here and string and oops, no, I still have that remove function that's why it's doing that and so let's print string All right, and that should do it so hello and there's still three elements hello is still there and all is good well, that's going to get over the introduction of um, tables I'm going to be covering global tables soon our next video and I'll see you then